This video is brought to you by TimeHop. Download TimeHop today to get your fresh daily dose of nostalgia. Every drag queen needs their good Judy. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 BFFs on RuPaul's Drag Race. That the is show. the thing I admire about you so much. You bitch, you are in it to win it. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the queens who formed the strongest bonds on screen or after appearing on the same season. Sorry, fashion photo review fans, but as Raja and Raven appeared on different seasons, we'll have to give them a boot this time around. Number 10. Kim Chi and Naomi Smalls Avant-garde goddess Kim Chi and legs for days diva Naomi Smalls first bonded when they teamed up to win the new wave challenge on season 8. I love these bitches. This is our team. Team best friend race. Serving good face and good taste, they stayed close and slayed the competition right up to the finale, when they both just missed out on the crown. I really loved seeing their friendship blossom after the show, when they became the makeup girls on the Mug YouTube series, where they kiki about beauty trends, gag viewers with their makeup looks, and teach how to paint for the gods. You can take a toothbrush and spray it with hairspray, to, and then go in and shape your brows and get your like hair to lay flat and smooth. And then you can brush your teeth after. <laughs> they also frequently dedicate posts to each other on Instagram, sharing their love for each other with the world. Number 9. Jinx Monsoon and Ivy Winters I have a crush on Ivy Winters. <gasps> Though it may not be the fiercest friendship to have graced the main stage, this one still hits us right in the feels. But there's one person who always gets who I am and what I'm doing, and it's Ivy. What about you? I'm doing a poison rosebud. <laughs> you know rosebud is a synonym for asshole. I know, I know. That's I mean. <laughs> Just check it. <laughs> Jinx is amazing. I feel like I can relate to her a lot. These two cuties bonded over being the lovable weirdos of season 5. Jinx was the quirky theater queen, and Ivy was the circus showgirl, making for a drag queen friendship that was wholesome to watch. I don't know how to describe in words how much Ivy means to me. I almost think that this could be the beginning of a relationship. I'm really excited about that. Fans were totally shook when Jinx confessed to having a crush on Ivy to the other queens. Sadly, Ivy was told to sashay away in that same episode, eliminating any chance of these queens having the first on-screen relationship on the show, and leaving us yelling, why, Rue, why, at our TV screens. Now, sashay away. Thank you guys so much. I'm so sad to see Ivy go. For a while now, I feel like she's one of the only people who've tried to fully understand me. Number 8. Heathers Clearly there's two cliques going on, and one of the cliques is Shangela's Handmaidens. Love them or loathe them, drag queen cliques have been keeping us entertained since season 3, when BFF Troop the Heathers were formed. Carmen, Manila, Delta, and myself have decided to call each other Heather because we formed this clique which looks a lot like the movie Heathers. We're basically the pretty girls, the top four, and then there's the other girls. The fierce foursome consisted of Raja, Manila Luzon, Delta Work, and Carmen Carrera, who bonded over slaying the runway with their couture looks and stunning makeup. Cuteness. <laughs> Heather, can you help me? Yes, Heather. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hilarious we're calling each other Heather now. <laughs> well, I mean, aren't we? Those are our names. Like, do they all kill each other? Well, yeah, only one Heather stands. Right, Manila? However, as all Drag Race fans know, clicks don't often come without drama, and most of the season's drama was between the Heathers and the group they shadedly named the Boogers. Honestly, because I, I heard it like three times today, you guys are saying, oh, well, we're, we're calling you Boogers so that we can feel better about ourselves. I don't think that's what it was at all. But why did you, you call us the Boogers? Because it's not shady, it's funny, it's just for to you. When you have fun but if you thing. take it that personal, that's your insecurity. It all came to a head in the season's reunion episode, Despite the controversy, they stayed close after their season ended, touring the world together and even releasing a Lady Marmalade cover. Number 7. 
Adora Delano and Bianca Del Rio. Adore, I'm really nervous because I think you can see your dirty pantyhose. <laughs> Party! <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget this unstoppable duo? Adore Delano was a wild child, and Bianca Del Rio the professional veteran, proving that sometimes opposites really do attract. Bianca is doing amazing. Areas. She's everything I want to be when I'm 57. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. After Adore had been told by the judges to start cinching her waist, Bianca showed her softer side when she let Adore borrow one of her corsets for a runway look. And so began a long mother and daughter style friendship that only got more adorable as the season continued. Adore. Yes, baby? If you don't want to get yelled at by Michelle, because didn't she tell you last time that you needed to be cinched? Yeah. I, and don't tell anybody that I'm being kind, but I have another cincher if you want me to lace you in it. I'm down. Okay, we'll do it. Adore's raw natural talent complemented Bianca's sharp and refined professionalism, helping them both to land a spot in the finale, as well as a friendship that we hope will last forever. Party! You're like evil nice. Like, what's with that? It's like, you can't hate you because you're helpful and you're sweet, but you're truthful, but you're a dick. Now, if you'd have said this on day one, I'd have been your friend. It's amazing we get this close and you're leaving today. What? <laughs> <laughs> hate you. Number six, Laganja, Stranja, and Gia Gunn. Is this one of the most iconic friendships in drag race history? Absolutely. My name is Miss Laganja Stranja, honey, darling. Laganja, y'all know tea. <laughs> Come on, Nat! These two clicked as soon as they entered the workroom. With Laganja's fierce death drops and Gia's unforgettable catchphrases, this duo wasn't just a drag friendship made in heaven. They were reality TV gold. My name is Gia Gun. I don't jump guns. I am the boom boom gun. Oh, is that it? Is that it? The on-screen friendship came to a sad end when Laganja's lip-sync skills sent Gia home, but their friendship off-screen only got stronger since season six. Now, sashay away. You guys are all still dudes. Both are super supportive sisters who tour together and were both part of the House of Edwards. And if all that isn't enough, they also moved in together. Now that's true friendship goals. I think, you know, yeah, I, I do. I feel that our friendship has come a long way, friends, since we first saw each other on the show. Now I, I honestly feel like we're we're growing up together. We are. You know, we we're building our own home and we're things are coming our way, you know? Number five, Shea Coulee and Sasha Valore. You know I agree. I love eating chocolate. Sasha, do you have a solution for people who love to eat dessert but hate waiting to the end of the meal? This adorable friendship started when these queens paired up to win not just one, but two challenges on season nine, cementing their place in the season finale and bonding them as drag sisters for life. <laughs> Sasha and I are really leaning on each other. We're having fun. The jokes are landing. It feels right. Shay and Sasha gelled seamlessly on tasks and challenges, both being fierce fashion queens with a quirky sense of humor and likable vibe. Yes! We the dream team. Oh my god. It's actually amazing to win working with Shay again. They left us feeling so emotional during their lip sync in the grand finale, battling it out in one of the most iconic performances in drag race history. Even off the show, they're still as cute as ever, or just having a good old kiki on YouTube. Another favorite moment was when Bakule's hair fell in her face, and I was like, she has vulnerability! <laughs> She's gonna do bad, finally! Number four, Rolaska Talks. Rolaska Talks in the house! This formidable trio left us gagging over more than just their runway looks. First starring in season five, this clique combined Roxy's polished beauty prowess, Detox's fashion expertise, and Alaska's hilarious creativity to create a seemingly unbeatable girl group who dominated the competition until lovable weirdo Jinx Monsoon snatched the crown. Just tuck your junk and hit that runway. It'll get better someday. When they met again in All Stars 2, they insisted that Rolaska Talks was out of action. So I don't want us to get all comfortable because I'm really like trying to stay focused so I can win the thing. 
However, the All-Stars twist meant that challenge-winning queens would decide which competitor would sashay away, leaving a lot of opportunities for Alaska Talks to show us that after all is said and done, best friends still come first. It shows how much I'm sorry. I can't send to the okay. home. I'm so sorry. But I just couldn't send Roxy home today because she's been so amazing and I just couldn't do it. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> Number 3. Yara Sofia and Alexis Mateo these Puerto Rican beauties gifted us one of the purest sisterhoods in drag race history. Yara and Alexis were both absolute sweethearts, yet cutthroat competitors. We loved watching them support each other through every challenge, and with Yara's Aisha Palante, Sha, Sha. And Alexis's Bam, Bam, Bam. They created iconic characters who slayed the competition, both making the top four. And you all know I didn't came here to clean toilets, baby, so I became a stripper, baby. <laughs> yes, ma'am, honey. If it God give it to you, baby, you better make some money. Sadly, our hearts broke when they had to lip sync against each other, leading to Jara's tragic on-screen breakdown. I'm crying because there's a lot of emotions. I was thinking too much. I'm so angry and I'm so disappointed. I'm a mess. However, this friendship was far from over. After teaming up in All Stars 1, they proved their friendship had survived the drama of Drag Race. Jara Sofia and Alexis Mateo. Let's go, I'm gonna bring <laughs> big to my <laughs> Come on, let's do the line, baby. Come on. Get it, get it. My loca. Number two. Raven and Juju B. My eyes were going to Pandora. I don't look at Pandora and see a star. I look at you and I see a star. Who could forget these sassy squirrel friends? This pair were two of the fiercest queens to ever grace our screens. And you, legendary you think you are. Legendary looks like leg and dairy. Oh! <laughs> Both could read any queen to filth and were experts at slaying the runway each and every week. So becoming BFFs came naturally. I decided to go with something a little more super glam. I feel like I should be in Greek mythology and they should write a story about me. A star is born again. Since season two, they've done countless shows together as well as working on projects including RuPaul's Drag You. Raven. Yes? Where's the wig? That afro thing? I don't know. Do you like this necklace? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Where is it? Oh, of course it's up there. Look at that. Is this the one? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> Raven! Get to work. Reuniting for All Stars 1, they gave audiences one of the most brutal lip syncs we've seen when they had to split their tag team to compete against each other. As they embraced in tears at the song's end, they cemented their place in the RuPaul's Best Friend Race Hall of Fame forever. Shantae, you both stay. Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I say <laughs> We have a top four. <laughs> I want fried chicken now. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. And then there's one that says, Don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. And then there's the one that says, Who smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> and there's, there's the one that says, It was all a dream. <laughs> I used to read like Word Up magazine. <laughs> I love you a lot. I love you too. I got you, right? I'm going to tear the f***ing roof off this place to save my friend. It's so much to me. My story's not done. And we're only on chapter three, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this, it's, 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 this much is hard. Rubies and emeralds and diamonds and pearls. Gemstones and rhinestones for glamorous girls. Moonstones and bloodstones can highlight a girl. So why not be completely fierce? The house down. I love you. I love you, too. And you are my best friend here. I love you, too, so, so much. Like, so so much. Absolutely. So much. Number one, Katya and Trixie Mattel. What's the best part about being married to a sociopath? 
The constant threat of danger keeps you so thin. <laughs> Ginger Minge may think Katya is her best friend, but the fans have spoken. Serious. I know. I, as way. much as I love everybody, like Katya, you're my best friend here. These two weirdos gave us life on season 7, but their friendship really touched our hearts when they started their YouTube series, oh. where they talk about whatever they want because it's their show and not yours. It's the next best thing to actually hanging out with these hilarious queens. They're also super supportive of each other's successes, and we love watching them rib each other on Twitter like true besties. Now they even have their own TV show, making them not only BFFs, but a true power couple in our eyes. Winner winner chicken dinner. We've been talking all about self-love, and since Kati and I are very close, not intimately, we thought we'd give each other a little quiz. This is the bestie test. This video is brought to you by TimeHop. Download TimeHop today to get your fresh daily dose of nostalgia. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.